Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this lesson I'm going to sculpt a hand. And we're going to start with C-spheres. And it's really not necessary to, to get the anatomy, like the positioning of the fingers, perfect. It's kind of more important at this stage to just try to get nice, clean, evenly spaced geometry. And here we are. This is now completely separate from my Z-sphere mesh, and I can hit A and nothing happens because this is now geometry, which means I can subdivide it and use the uh, sculpting brushes on it. Uh, so this is going to be available on the website. Feel free to, to come and grab it. And the reason that I left all this white space over here is I need the image to be a square. Uh, same thing on this side. So to invert, I'm just clicking, holding control, and clicking outside of the geometry. So basically all I'm using here are the transpose tools, inflate, smooth, and move. And when I want to make a big change, like tweaking the position of the thumb, I like to do that at a lower subdivision level. So what I'm doing here is using that uh, trim feature of the, the move transpose. Clean up the uh, end of the arm there. So I've got the, the intensity, Z intensity of clay tube set set to 7, which is pretty low, uh, which makes it really easy to get uh, s nice subtle stuff. Make sure that, that if, if you feel like you can't control the displacement you're getting with your brushes, to, to definitely take a look at that, that Z intensity, because a lot of brushes, uh, the default setting is really high, like 35 or 45 or something, and it's, you know, it's like smashing your model with a hammer. So I've isolated the index finger here by holding Control and Shift and clicking on it, because it's, uh, it's all one poly group, because it all comes from one source z-sphere. Makes it pretty easy to do this. And the trick about the fist is it's really difficult um, to fold the fingers after articulating them indiv individually. So for the fist, what I do is I just start using three z-spheres. Uh, you should have enough detail there to get a reasonably decent looking fist. So, and then once the fist is done, and I feel like everybody's kind of on the same page as far as the, you know, overall, like the, the, the base sculpting procedure, I'll assign them some kind of a basic quadruped or something where they can get uh, a little bit more practice with a more complicated shape, but not something over the top. Uh, so that's my suggestion for you as well. Uh, you know, a dinosaur or a lion or something, and you'll see a couple of examples that I've done in. Uh, along the lines of, of that, that content later on. So there you go.